Yo, what is going on everyone? Guiding Light here back with another quick Destiny 2 video and in this one I'll be showing you guys how you can complete the first step to the Trust Goes Both Ways quest. For this what you will need to do is loot three region quests and you are going to get a pretty nice weapon out of it once you complete all five steps. So we're going to start off here in Quagmire. This is going to be in Sabathun's Throne World. It's a new location which has come out with the brand new Witch Queen DLC. And I'm going to show you guys exactly where you can get your hands on three of these region quests very, very quickly. So you'll notice here that there's actually these icons on the map for the Lost Sectors. And then there's also another one that sort of looks like an X. Now these X's will actually mark you where the region quests are. However, they are a bit hidden. So I'm going to show you guys the exact locations as I find them. However, if you are a little bit lost or just wondering the exact area I'm in, take a look at that X and you should be able to get a nice reference point exactly where I'm going. So like I said, guys, we're going to start off here in Quagmire. Now you may notice that there's these other chests here that just say to collect loot. These are not the region chests. These are just simply chests that are going to give you materials that can only be found on this planet. As you can see here, I didn't actually get any progress for looting that, and we still are at zero of three. So the very first location we're going to go to is really not too far away from where you pick up the quest of that vendor. You just want to open up your map and go to this exact location that I'm at here. You'll notice these little icons here. We're at the one basically in the middle. All you have to do is come over here and loot a chest and it will be found in a somewhat hidden location. I'll show you guys exactly where it's hidden. So you'll notice that there's this sort of this wall here with this archway. So at first I thought the chest might be above here, but if you come up here, there's actually a barrier you can't cross. And instead the chest will be found beneath this location. And I'll show you guys exactly how you're going to get there. So here's another quick look at the map exactly where we are. All you have to do is come down here. You're going to find some small little pathways in which lead you to the exactly to the region chest. Now the region chests are not going to look like any other chest. They're going to actually be those gold ones. If you guys remember from previous seasons or maybe even from D1 when you went out and got some of the region quests on there. So it's pretty simple to complete. I'll show you guys the first location. Here's the very first one. Now you're not really going to get any sort of special crazy loot out of these, but you are going to get the quest completion and there's also uh, some blues that you can get. So hopefully they end up dropping at a higher light level than what you're at now. Now you will notice that you have uh, quest completion, so be, be sure to double check your quest and make sure that you actually got the progress for it so that you don't have to come back a second time. But that's pretty much it for that location. I'll show you guys where you can find two more. So we're still in Quagmire. We actually haven't not left the region or anything like that. This chest can be found pretty close by to the other one that we were just at. So if you come over to this icon here on the map, you'll be able to find another one. Here's my exact location so that you guys can find me. But basically all you want to do is go to that other X that marks the spot of the region chest and you'll find yourself sort of in this little cave here. Instead of coming down into the cave though, you're actually going to want to look up on a ledge and that's where you're going to find the region chest. So come over here as if you're going to try to jump on top of the cave, but instead you'll notice that there's a region chest right there kind of tucked away. All you have to do is simply jump up here and collect it and you'll have your second chest. Now for the third chest, we're actually going to go over to a brand new location. I tried to get the third one in Quagmire, however, it does require um, some further progress in the Witch Queen campaign. So for the third chest, what you want to do is actually head over to the fluorescent canal. If you pull up in your mini-map, you shouldn't have any trouble finding it, but I'll take you guys there now. So wherever you guys may be on the map, just head over to the fluorescent canal. You'll find it on the right side of your map when you pull it open, and I'll show you guys how you can find the third region chest very quickly. So once you are in this area, you will you should have a pop-up at the bottom left of your screen telling you you're at the fluorescent canal, so just make sure you're in the right area. There's going to be two different chests which you can get here in fluorescent canal, but we're just going to get the one to complete the quest. So here's my exact location on the map. We're going to be going after this one here. It's pretty easy to get to. You just jump over onto this little ledge and open it up. So that's pretty much it for this one, guys. Hopefully it helps you guys out. Here's the three locations you need for the region quest. If it did, drop a like down below, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.